yeah, they pick a strong laning champion for Darshan. They, instead of going with a Sona, which is really strong on this patch, they do go for a Bard, I think, for more playmaking opportunities. Ooh, and Smithy looking for the cheeky play. He knows the bot lane's being pushed in, and he would beat Darduk to the spot. Yeah. Like, we don't know what's coming. They're gonna go and look for this one. Ooh, good flash by Matt, but now he can't doubt it. He wants to block, to block it really smart. And oh, look at the goal flash. to chase him in. Beautiful play all over the place. Phoenix solo killed Huhi in the meanwhile. So many good plays this bot lane as well. Yeah, we're gonna have to see what happened in the mid lane, but this play was tremendous by X Smithy. I mean, Phoenix, it must just land a few spells. He lands a Q Ooh. and then flashes for the final E. Wow. That is, that is just very classic Cassiopeia laning patterns and Huhi doesn't respect it. So big misplay by Huhi there and good job by Phoenix. Stixay is running out of HP. Fabi flashes in for looking for a little bit more to do. Now Afro's going to get away, but it's going to be Stixay slowed up. Crossblade across. Dardock is going to give away the kill to Fabi. Nicely done by Liquid getting that answered kill. Phoenix's play and thanks to Dardock's I would say counter gank, but it's not the strict definition of it. But now Matt and yeah. Afro trading blows. Smithy still wants to find this gank. Basically, the same thing again. Dardox return gank, but now, I mean, how many times are they going to trade Magical ganks journey. here? They're pushed up without summoner spells. No summoners. This is going to be pretty bad for Fabi or Matt, whichever one they choose to go for. Probably the Karma. Nice juke on the Bard, so they can't get away from Cocoon. That's the kill over to Stixay. Liquid not respecting the gank from Smithy. Smithy now looking for the top lane. This one, though, all summoners up, but Darshan has ulti. He's going to jump in, doesn't find it yet. Lola Force a flash away, nice cannot catch Cocoon. That's going to be Meganar into the wall, waiting for a second sun to come up. Still plenty of damage to deal, and Lorlo slowed down. Where's the wall if it's not up just yet? Mininar comes back in, and Lorlo does get away with his life, trading flashes, trading ults. A choice he still made was to walk, and yeah, it means a partial freeze. Now, he's got to be careful because look at the layered CC into the ulti perfectly played. That'll be the kill picked up for Liquid. Explosive cast guarantees they face towards Cassiopeia. A nice, easy layering, well ganked by Dardock. And then as who he was flying, they got the stun from Phoenix. Like, beautiful. Now they invade. And Smithy really shouldn't be fighting for his own red buff. Jumps over the wall, but it's not going to be enough. Krug's help. Phoenix gets the kill. Certainly helps that Ignite was on for a map, but that is another one now. Liquid 1,600 gold up. And one of... Oh. One of Vladimir's big things is tankiness. And if he just dies, that's a nice stun, though. Fabi did not spell shield in time. Puts it on the block. Nothing. The flash chase and Stixay gets the kill. Good play by CLG. Now they turn off the turret. The chase on the Matt. The slow is there. And Huhi really trying to set up for the team. Suddenly, there's four down here. And Matt is left alone. That will be the kill picked up. Huhi finally getting a kill on the board. A nice roam for him. But Liquid want to answer on the top side. Yeah, that was everyone on COG. So Darshan knows that a gank should be coming. He checks for it, but he does get hit. So he is alone. Explosive cast. Oh, and it breaks his jump. So now Darshan can't get away in any real semblance of it. But he's going to pop the Gnar ulti to put Darduk away. But there's the body slam. Once again, Runic Echoes triggers. Red buff, auto attack, and the solo kill for Liquid's jungler. Looks like Dardock is back in four. But they're going to be going for Darshan right here. Uh-oh, they are onto the Nar. He does have Flash and his ultimate available. Can he outplay Dardock? He does get away from the body slam at the very least. But Explosive Cast pulls him back in. Not far enough, though. And yes, Darshan does get away with an ulti and a Flash miss. Yeah, I think a poor Explosive Cast bear but at the end by Dardock. Yeah. Basically, the Flash had already been used, and that was all of his damaging abilities, oh. but they catch Matt. Bard ulti into Ash Arrow into the kill. Half removed secures the kill, but at this point, I think he kind of deserved one. Really key that Darshan was able to at least lay that Rift Herald. But we watch this. It is a Bard ult. They know Matt's Flash is down. They've already killed him three times before this. That's the fourth. Yeah, now Team Liquid's actually using their strongest lane in Phoenix to try and get a turret. Nice rotation, and they catch Afro. Gonna come in, a nice knockback. They picked him up with Cassio, just to make sure it still happens. Where Dardock has put most of his focus, not really on the bottom side, but instead right here. Up in the top side, looking for a Smithy, hits him up, and actually forces the flash out of CLG's jungler, but Stixay actually able to last hit the Gromp, despite a, uh, well, with Smithy smite, I suppose. He got it low, and then Ash made it happen. There's the flash body slam, and it's gonna be a pickup on to Stixay. Goodbye to the Ash, Dardock gets it. A bit of greed from the CLG AD carry, and Liquid up two kills. Yeah, as you mentioned it, Dardock back in form, and this is definitely a scary player to be against. Now CLG looking for a match onto Lorlo, forcing the flash over. That means Bardo's is going to hit into Darshan, landing they the Nar. Have to kill him fast. They've got to get this one CC layering. Exhaust is on. He's running out of health, but now Matt has rejoined the fray, and it's CLG who are forced to retreat. Another slow comes in, but Dardock is in. Half move flash to dodge away, but that's actually more lost by CLG than Liquid. 
And it is not miserable. It's only 19 down. Not the worst in the world. Expected they're going to get caught out. Goes a bit late on the explosive cast. But now here comes a dive on towards Phoenix as well as on the mat. This Karma low on health. Got to re engage his damage and who he stays alive. Here comes Meganar. And he's picked off Jarda, but Lolo is in as well. Both top is picking up kills for themselves. Another comes across. It's two for two so far. Sticks stay low. And Lolo gets them picked off. A double for the top laner. CLG running out of people. That is an ace for Liquid. Nicely played quadra kill for Liquid's Aurelia. Because they now have plus 50 out of combat movement Arrow's speed. Arrow's gonna land though. No cleanse. cleanses down. So they've got the damage up what they need. That might be the beginning of the comeback. CLG desperately are looking for a mid lane turret. Should be going down. Mountain Drake helps the siege happen. Who he gonna zone them out. Now how much more can CLG get? Because they're still down 5,000 gold. 5,000 gold down. Look at this, Liquid trying to make the same play. They're gonna find the body slam, they're gonna find the damage on Wicksmithy, but can they really kill him off? He's gonna flash to get away. Stardox body slam is back up though, doing plenty of damage. Ulti to come across from Bard, the arrow's in, but Fabi gets himself the kill, just barely getting into range for the crossblade, and that is another one for Liquid now, 13 to 8 the scoreboard. But with no CLG jungle, that means their eyes are on Baron. Walking around this area, Hawk this guy's so down fast. for a bit. Here's the TP. Out of Cassiopeia, they have to peel off. Phoenix. Here comes the attempted play. They're staying on it. There's no smite for CLG. They want to pick that one off first, and that's going to be a pickup easily for Counter Logic. Giving out our Sean is isolated as he completed the teleport before his team told him to back off. He pops the ult, he pops the jump over the wall, flashing as well. Darshan losing all summoners and his ultimate for no gain. We'll see if Liquid can then close out the oh, game with Darda. this. Darda gonna face check into a lot of CC. They layer it pretty darn well and they pick him off. Another CLG. pick for COG, but this team Liquid make the call to fight anyway. The flash chase onto this one. Phoenix still holds on to the ultimate. Aphromoo low on health, but Fabi is untouched. Damage on a Phoenix with the Vladimir ult helping a little bit. Darshan on the chase can't land the stun. And it's gonna be the stun almost landing. Not quite enough though. Lorlo's down to the back line. He's gonna pick off Aphromoo. It's on towards Stixie. There is almost no chance for the CLG bot lane. Phoenix gets himself a couple of kills. Expecting now running away. Spiderling's actually betraying the Spider Queen herself as Lorlo is in range now for the slow. That'll be an easy pickup. A triple kill. Another big cleanup for Lorlo and Liquid have all the time in the world to close this one out. I appreciate the effort by CLG to go hide and make a play. Mm -hmm. They knew they had to do something special, but the rest of Team Liquid is just so strong and they might look to end here. They could do it. Double inhibitor's gonna be down. Eight seconds on the respawn, so if they do kill the next, it'll be in the face of CLG. Yep. So they choose not to. They're gonna back off with their last remnants of Baron buff on for 45 more seconds. And they're looking bad in this one. Lorlo hey. makes the tap, and he's on to the Nexus turrets, and Liquid just pulling CLG around the map very elegantly. It really looks like there's no risk on Liquid at all. 18 to nine and kills into the mid lane to go once again. Lorlo threatening on the Darshan, gets the shield, walks away. Arrow's gonna miss as well. And here comes the body slam in for a little bit of CC, but CLG cutting away. However, this Elise is running out of health rapidly. That's 50 force to flash. Body slam in once oh. again. They're gonna pick up some kills. Lorlo is a legendary 8-0 and three. Goes back into the sticks. They get the heal for Matt, gets the kill picked up, a double for him. And now CLG are out of tools to defend their base with 21 to nine in kills. On to the next as they go. That's going to be game one of the series for certain. Liquid keeping control of third place for the dismantling of Counter Logic Gaming.